7 NEWS. Remember this massive flooding from last week? What a mess. A woman screaming out in pure frustration as her backyard turned into a pond. And with rain in the forecast tonight, homeowners are scrambling to avoid a repeat. Kirsten Swanson went to the city today to ask how they will help. Kirsten. Yeah, Royal, if you remember last Monday, this entire street was full of water. It was all because of this drain right here. And as we're seeing the rains come down, we're starting to see water trickle into that drain. But homeowners are still very worried about what the rains overnight could do to this area. Eric Hall shovels dirt he hopes will protect his Northeast Albuquerque home. This morning, he learned the Metro is expecting more rain and he's not ready. We haven't had enough time yet to prepare since we found out that we have to be flood ready. <laughs> We're supposed to be in a flood free zone, my. You hear his wife Sasha on that cell phone video because this is what their backyard looked like just a week ago. The storm drains on their street backed up. Rainwater came rushing over the curb and into their backyard. It had nowhere to go. Since then, Eric and Sasha have called the city and asked for an expert to come check it out. We've cleaned all the inlets. We've actually videotaped the storm line, the storm drain line, to see if there's any obstruction. Melissa Lozoya says crews didn't find anything. So we have rains coming tonight. What is the city going to do to avoid that massive flooding? Um, there's nothing that we can do to avoid the issue. Instead, they've told Eric and Sasha to get sandbags. The pair says all that would do is create problems for their neighbors. The incident that we had is not isolated to our property. Over the last week, Eric and Sasha have learned that it is not just their street that floods. People three streets away tell them they also have issues when it rains. Especially since monsoon season is still months away. But I'll tell you, Action 7 News gets results. Right after we spoke to the city, Sasha actually came out of her home here and told us they are going to bring 200 sandbags to this street. Sasha and her neighbors plan to actually line them up on the sidewalk here so that if that water crests up over the curve, curb, excuse me, it won't hopefully flood into their homes or that backyard again. Reporting live in Northeast Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. The father of a young Albuquerque.